सच्चिदानंद रूपाय व्याप्ताय परमात्मने सच्चिदानंद रूपाय व्याप्ताय परमात्मने जगत प्रपंच नाशाय बंदे सतगुरु सतगुरु देवता ओ मकंड मंडलाकारम व्याप्तम एन चराचरम तत्पदम दर्शितम एनम परमानंदम गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देव महेश्वरा गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरु नम टुडे वी आर टेकिंग the 13th stanza of chapter 12 in this stanza sadguru parmatma telling about the characters character statistics of devotees the real lovers and deep and seekers of the god मैत्रकरुण निर्मो निरहंकार समुख सुख क्षमी अद्वेष्टा सर्वूता मैत्रकुण निर्म निरंकार समुख सुख क्षमी दिस टाइप पर्सन हु इज लिविंग इन द पीस adestra means without jealous and revenge fullness sarvabhutanam in all living beings maitra unconditional lover cha it means and nirmamo without attachment nirhankara without ego or without proud sam dukh sukh the equal pain and pleasure kshami it means uh, the forgiveness for mistakes the sadguru sachidananda parmatma is telling the person who is standing in the peaceful stage he give up his jealousy and enmity in all living beings he is unconditional lover of all he is causeless merciful he is without attachment he is egoless he is same stable in the equilibrium in the pain or pleasure and he is the merciful even his enemies
this is the worldly meaning of this stranger. But uh, there is the deep meaning of this stranger. According to the Satchidananda Paramatma, Lord Krishna, everybody knows that Krishna is the existence which is existing in all the universes and the galaxies. And Krishna is the base and installation of all creation, is the foundation of everything present in the root cause is existence, Paramatma. In this stanza, the Krishna want to say to Arjuna, the characters which can we see time to time in the real devotee or real seeker or maybe he is the enlightened person then what is the visible and experienceable character aesthetics my dear friend One thing is that he is saying that if a person is stand in this permanent peace, then when he is stand in the permanent peace, then what is happening? If a person is not standing in the antakarna, a person he is not standing in the mind's flow of thoughts, a person if he is not standing in any, any cleverness of the cloud of your intellect, a person which is not standing in any unstable condition of the mood which is changeable every time after a very very short time. When a person goes to meet his ill friend in hospital, and after when he return, he says something painful to his friend, his friend gets sorrow. So the mood is every time changeable. The cleverness of intellect and never give the pleasure to anyone. The mind itself a very, very Ill illusion creative machine. So how can a person peaceful in these instrumental slapness. My dear friends, this stranger is samely in instructing you or pushing you towards the enlightenment because as a mother, as a doctor, as a well-wisher, as a teacher. Give you the truly treatment by many, many means and many, many modes and many, many methods. So here is Krishna is also giving the teaching to Arjuna in a separate method that is calling, he is describing the character of an enlightened person. I remember a child, his father take his child regularly in the Bangalore of the collector. And when he was very little boy, five or six year young boy, he saw the Bangalore of collector, the car of collector, garden of the Bangalore, and the respect of the collector. Continuously, every day, 
every day to day he take his boy till the boy is come in the college you will not believe that boy become a collector because he see the it, the powerfulness the facilities the respect and many many things so why don't you do not want to become an enlightened person because you do not see any enlightened persons pleasure peace powerfulness and stability and equilibrium of the mind you only see the persons they are not enlightened but they are doing some type of activity like a beggar like a mischiefing like a befooling types so you are not interesting to be enlightened person but the enlightened person is a very rare and rarest in this world so krishna is telling the character of enlightened person to his disciple arjuna because he want to push arjun in this supreme stage of liberation my dear friend he is telling one thing that is the peace of mind peace of mind the pin drop silent of the mind the silence of the mind is a very very big achievement as my hana says she had the silence of the mind my many disciples they are living in many many countries they feel the silence of the mind and they do not know that what is a big achievement the silence of the mind this is the millions and billions dollar achievement but they unfortunately the signing the and the glory of this world they disobey this type of highest achievement which cannot be purchased by the tons of the gold and tons of the diamonds you cannot purchase the silence of the mind by the tons of the gold and tons of the diamond you only can achieve this silence of the mind by the grace of enlightened master your meditation cannot bring it because a dead body cannot do any work because the master's power also involving your spiritual practices the blessings of the master is also involving with you because the love of the master divine love of the master continues flowing to you which is invisible rays so you do not know you think that this is done by your meditation no nothing can be possible without the mercy and the grace of the master so they are very fortunate person they get the silence of the mind my dear friend a person who is living in the silence of the mind continuously and the long term time what is what will be happen in their lives they have a totally abolish the jealousy and revengefulness the jealousy and revengefulness is the significance and the signature of antakarna if the jealousy is presents antakarna is presents it may be possible that as a krishna's life he was not jealous but person seems that he is jealous with the shishupal and kansa and other other devils because the master is a very supreme divine intellectual person he knows what 
must we do and what must not we do in the particular particular condition of the life so do not go in the exceptions but go in the throughout track of the character of an enlightened person or near to enlightenment even I want to say again there is no character but it is only Krishna is telling because this characteristics this is this qualities cannot be found in general person general person cannot be live without jealousy general person cannot live without revengefulness but a person who is enlightened he is he maybe seems like a jealous but he is not jealous because the society and the life we must be save himself also. so he will save himself and he take the precautions and the precautionary actions the other person can feel that he is jealous no Krishna was not jealous any enlightened person is not jealous in the internal center of his living the Leela he is doing Leela it is called the drama and what is saying in all living beings in all living beings he is the unconditional lovers my dear friend I find some precious person they are also my disciples and they are very very loving person they are unconditional lovers I am giving to the thanks to God my some disciples they are very very nice unconditional lovers they always love all seekers of the world and I want to request them they should be save themselves from the devil type persons so the unconditional loving and unconditional friendship that is it brings us the detachment there is no attachment my master says Sadhguru who like a beard beer the hair of the beer is so lot he not never care the hair loss so Sadhguru never care who is coming and who is going if a person will stay with Sadhguru he will be enlightened a person will love Sadhguru, a person will care Sadhguru, a person will serve Sadhguru, he will enlighten. But the river will not go to your home. You must go to the near of river. Sadhguru is the river of the nectar. Sadhguru is the river of the light. Sadhguru is the river of consciousness. Sadhguru is the river of the divine love. So my dear friends, there is nothing attachment without attachment. Because the attachment is the nature of Antakarna, the attachment is the nature of the Maya. I want clear the concept here. You can see the Sadhguru like an attached person. My Sadhguru also loves me very very a lot. But he is only giving you the love because he wants to push in the enlightenment, Atma Jnana. So he wants to grip you by the love, power of the love. So Sadhguru is giving you the love because Sadhguru wants to give you the ultimate liberation and he wants he want to give you the supreme knowledge of liberation so he is giving you the love like a general person like a worldly person but please do not be misunderstand the love of Sadhguru is a completely divine love as a mother 
टेक हिट चाइल्ड क्लीन इज नोज क्लीन इज इयर क्लीन इज बैक क्लीन इज एवरीथिंग ऑफ बॉडी बट मदर इज द मदर से लव टू ए चाइल्ड एज अ डिवाइन लव सो सदगुरु आल्सो कैन कन्वर्सिएट विथ यू द ग्रेट वर्ड्स ऑफ द लविंग बट ही इज नॉट लाइक वर्डली लवर so that unconditional love and that unconditional mercy and that without attachment that comes in a person the person can detach from antah karma man mind intellect buddhi chitta mood and ego so the next word is coming the krishna is telling that nirahankara without ego without pride without proud without arrogant head my dear friend that is the last barrier of the soul that is the ego that is the pride that is the feeling that he is someone no dissolve 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 everywhere is god existence dissolve you are not a man or woman you are not a citizen of any country you are the citizen of the universe and you are not a man or woman you are a pure soul and pure love of existence god this stage is called nirahankara and the krishna is telling to arjuna which person who is stand in this stage that is never deviate by any pain or any pleasure the pain and pleasure both comes in and goes without to disturb that person he will not disturb in the pain he will not disturb in the pleasure he will not jump in the joy when he got a very very favorable condition and he will not be sad in any unfavorable condition my dear friends so precious stage and so precious knowledge and so precious progress and so precious prosperity of the life consciousness you cannot feel you cannot achieve by any means you cannot achieve this by any type of method of spiritual practices only one thing can you you give this achievement that is the divine love of the master and the divine meditation sakshi so my dear friend when a person is living in this condition he forgive to all he give the pardon to all he are the he is the man of pardon he is the man of liberty he is the man of mercy he is the man of divine love unfortunately this top class quality and the knowledge of liberation and consciousness is come from india and the fools they do not know this supreme knowledge of liberation and what is the valuable spiritual treasure so they attack on india from 1000 years ago and they burn all the knowledge books and they kill all the knowledgeable knowledgeable person so that's why this world is too much blind because this type of supreme knowledge origin must be safe must be unpolluted must be conserved conserved but unfortunately the cruel persons 
and the surface living persons and the body conscious persons and the person they are totally blind in the spiritual area they came in the in the form of invader they cross the indian culture and indian spiritual symbols and they burn the very very precious book i want to remember you in the kustun turiya there was a very big library and changesh khan has burned that library seven days that books was burning and the nalanda and takshashala they are also destroyed by the cruel persons invaders so my dear friend in india the some enlightened sadguru masters are still awaiting and they can create again these all spiritual treasure but it must be essential that this type of master must be safe and secure and the disciple must be required for spreading this knowledge all over the world which knowledge is giving without any differentiation and without any personality this supreme knowledge of liberation peace unconditional love without jealousy and without revengefulness the peaceful life the without attachment a very very free, free life freedom life and we want to teach this world of how to live in a equilibrium in the pain and pleasure both and then you can be separate from this illusion and mesmerism of the maya of ignorance unknowing yourself and giving you the self knowledge of liberation that is called pure and pure purest soul that is the existence which is presence everywhere and then on this earth there will not be any bar and fighting and quarrel and dispute because by this knowledge of liberation and the peace the forgiveness comes the pardon comes we will give the pardon to the biggest enemy also so the world will be only peaceful by the sachi meditation of awareness so this is stanza is telling this message also my dear friends i am inviting all of you please we the big lamp of this knowledge please be the master i want giving the training of the master i want to make many many masters all over the world every country because the dark of illusion is very dark and dense and we should need some light houses we should need some masters they can give you the right direction towards the right peaceful life and liberate life and the we want to provide for all the ultimate knowledge of liberation then you will be free from death and birth and then you will be stand in the existence so my dear friends i am sending my love to all of you and i am your best friend i am your well wisher if you do not make me master don't worry i am your friend i will help you thank you very much love you very much thank you